Today we're still working our way around the dial on the digital SLR cameras and we now get to S, which I thought stood for speed. However, I'm here with Ben, who's an expert on digital cameras, and he's going to tell us exactly what S means and why we would actually use it. So, S on the dial means shutter speed priority. Um, in one of our other tutorials we look at aperture priority, what A is. Here we move on to S. Now, shutter speed priority is all about motion. So if you want to control the uh, flow of movement in a shot, S on the dial is where you want to be. It will look after how long the camera lets light coming into the sensor. And with that, you can decide if you want to freeze action, or you can decide if you want a movement coming through, a flow of something. Perhaps it could be your children in the garden running about. You might want to capture that moment perfectly as they're running about, or you might want to get the flow of the motion of them coming across. And with shutter speed priority on the dial, as S, it lets you control that. So what we're going to do is we've got our friend Paul who's going to be uh, doing a little bit of cycling around these lovely parts and we're going to see how S can uh, manipulate your picture to get perhaps a freezing shot or something with a bit more flow in it. Okay so I've always wanted to be able to take one of these photographs where a cyclist or someone comes past and I can instantly capture the entire image, the cyclist in perfect clarity, the background in perfect clarity or an alternative where I've seen these pictures where the background is a motion blur but the subject is in perfect clarity. How, how do we do that? Okay, well, we've already mentioned shutter speed priorities is about controlling movement, so we're in the right area. Um, helpful tips if we're going to concentrate, first of all, on just freezing the action. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things we want to mention. Autofocus mode. So your autofocus mode is how the camera is working out what it's focusing on. You want to make sure that's set to AFC, that means autofocus continuous. That means that the camera is going to know that your subject is moving and as it moves it's going to update the point of focus with your subject moving. Okay. So I've got the Alpha 55 here, you've got the next five, they can both ha uh, change their focusing modes of course. Um, so on the Alpha 55 I go into the function button and on the left hand side of my screen I've got my autofocus mode. Now, this I want to make sure is not on AFS or AFA. I'm going to move it down to AFC, so that's that continuous one where it updates the autofocus with the moving subject. Again, you can do the same on the next. You need to go into your menu, uh, onto the camera selection, and you'll find autofocus mode down the menu set there. And again, set it to continuous AF. Great. Um, a second thing to mention is if you're trying to freeze the action, you might not be able to get it perfect first time. So being on continuous shooting or, or a burst mode is, is advisable. So on the Alpha 55, on the uh, control pad on the back, on the left-hand side, we've got our drive mode button. Um, it's in exactly the same place on the dial on the back of the next, the left-hand side of the dial. Yep. And if you click onto that, you should see there's a burst mode option. So we can spray a few shots at our moving subject as it comes past in case the one that we initially hit it with is not perfect, Great. perhaps some of those other ones around it are. All right. Now the last thing I'm going to mention is um, to try and freeze the shot, we're going to use a shutter speed of around about a 250th of a second. So this is to try and freeze the action as uh, our subject's coming through to get it perfectly done. Okay. So. Okay, so we've looked at freezing the action, so let's try and get a similar scene, but this time we want to get the flow of movement going around it. Right. Um, this time, we're going to use a slower shutter speed, so before we used a 250th of a second, very quick, this time we're going to use about a 60th of a second. So this is going to be letting light in for longer, and so the shutter is going to be open as we move around with the camera, and by the time it closes, it's going to capture that movement and that flow. Now, something that's important when you're doing this is to make sure you're steady and to make sure you're following the subject at the pace it's coming along so you're staying level with it as you come through the shot. Okay. So let's set our cameras to a 60th of a second and let's give it a go again, same shot, and see what we get. Great. <laughs> 